ቤተክርስቲያን በተልኮ ላይ በተሰኘው ፕሮግራማችን ባለፈው ሳምንት በመጀመሪያው ክፍል እንግዲህ ስለ ካቶሊክ ትምህርቶች የአገልግሎት በተመለከተ ከውጭ አገር ትምርት እንዲሰጡን ይጠራናቸው እንግዳ ጋራ ያደረግነውን ስብሰባ ከካቶሊክ ትምህርቶች መሪዎች ጋር አስተማሪዎች ጋራ አንድ ላይ ሆነን ያደረግነውን ውይይት በጋራ እዚህ በስቱዲዮ ውይይት አድርገንበታል አሁን ደግሞ በሁለተኛው ክፍል ላይ የምናቀርብላችሁ ደግሞ ከዛ ይቀጠለ በተለይ ደግሞ በውይይቱ ሂደት ላይ በወርክሾፑ ላይ ተነሱትን ሐሳቦች ይዘን የካቶሊክ ትምህርት ቤቶቻችን የሰጡት ያለውን አገልግሎት እንዴት ማሻሻል እንችላለን እንዴትስ በበለጠ ሁኔታ ማህበረሰቡን ማገልገል እንችላለን በተለይም ደግሞ የካቶሊኩ ማህበረሰብ የበለጠ በዚህ በካቶሊክ ትምርት አሰጣጥ ላይ አሳታፊ ማድረግ እንችላለን የሚሉትን የተለያዩ ርሶች ይዘን በሁለተኛው ክፍል ላይ የምንቆይ ይሆናል እና አሁንም ከኛ ጋር አንድ ተቆዩ አደረ አለማለት ፈልጋለሁ ንግዛብየር አገልግሎታችን ይድዋርክ the four b's uh, four pillars of uh, holistic education are are geared towards primarily toward toward the um, educational concerns you need to take into account in educating students but they also uh, highlight um, the enduring educational concerns you have to take into account in structuring an educational environment and when i think about the conversations that we had on friday or saturday's uh, workshop the two b's that came out most often were um belonging and becoming and it's um how do catholics how do we cultivate a sense of belonging to the one community of catholic educators um and if we can do that we can further develop the catholic educational structure and environment um and um then if if we if we focus more on belonging can we then develop a more um solid sense of identity as a united group of catholic educators uh and advocate for our concerns so how can we become so it's that becoming a uh, a united community of educators um so those those are what i and and also in becoming how do we create an educational community you just mentioned parents that the uh, relations with parents did come up a lot in the workshop and there's a real sense of how uh, how catholic school teachers create communities create an educational community where parents are an integral part of the community so that they parents and educators belonging together united to a common concern um so I'd say those were the where we're highlighting the the greatest needs those what came up in the groups more more than anything else um what what surprisingly said, didn't come up was uh, a lot of comments on um uh there 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 were comments on but not as many on educational excellence or on the developing curriculum and, and when that was mentioned it was mostly mentioned as a strength so I think that in in terms of of the 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 strength that the um, diocese needs to appreciate is that the strength it already has in providing um rigorous academic education that f- does form people to have core convictions for life and that is deeply informed by faith convictions so while you focus upon the needs for the uh, in the areas of belonging and believing also celebrate the tremendous uh, strength the diocese has in its catholic educational programs um in forming students to develop life-giving convictions informed by faith. Thank you. Any All right, uh, to add to what is already said, uh I think we need to know the situation of our schools, our catholic schools. What are the challenges that they are facing the challenges that we face as st joseph school 
may be different in another school. So if the, there is an uh, education desk, if they do a kind of uh, assessment on each of the Catholic schools situation, uh, if they can address, you know, uh, some points, what they lack and what they have, uh, what's, what's Catholic in each of our schools, what makes us Catholic schools. Do people say that this is Catholic school just because of what they see and what they, uh, with what they experience? Uh, especially our parents. Okay? Uh, as I said earlier, they choose us because of their morality. Are all schools giving moral education now? If yes, how are they giving? This is a kind of very uh, brief assessment, need assessment. Mm. Uh, if they ta that's done, uh, I think we can, we can start from there and go forward, improving things. What we have, what is strong, then we can keep it. What is you know, very weak, which needs improvement, we can improve. So areas of improvement, areas of strength. So uh, we can go ahead with those things on hand. If there is nothing, uh, you know, it's impossible to uh, change things. We need to know our, our successes and our problems beforehand. Mm. It's a very uh, important point uh, you are mentioning, uh, that uh, uh, to solve any problem, you have to know it and you have to understand it well and the context in which, and then you go how to, uh, yeah. you know, uh, solve the problem. Mm -hmm. um, so that requires also, uh, we come back also to the communication, uh, proper communication, but also uh, there should be the education desk has to take uh, this uh, uh, into consideration uh, our current situation if there is uniformity uh, in for, for example in moral education for example or other areas of services so there should be a mutual uh, collaboration uh, between the two uh, so that is very key to trust each other mm -hmm. and then to, to work together to uh, be strong in our service to the society. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so thank you so much. Uh, so whenever we talk about education, uh, the center uh, of the discussion is learning and the learning of students. Uh, and now we are seeing it is very fundamental for us uh, to prepare our students in a holistic manner uh, and preparing students in a holistic manner in the context of Ethiopia uh, is, is, is really, um, it requires continuous deliberation and discussion. Uh, I am a member of uh, the National Education Commission, uh, uh, the ECS. Uh, there is a discussion to come up with a standard of the Catholic school. Uh, this requires a continuous discussion and deliberation, but it will definitely will uh, contribute uh, uh, for, 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 the, for the schools. Uh, data, according to the data, we have close to 400 schools, but the disparity is very high. So people talk about St. Joseph, people talk about Nazareth school, uh, which are the most competent school, uh, not only for the Catholics, but also uh, nationally. But it is also very important for us to remember, we have small schools, which are really struggling to sustain uh, and uh, to provide quality education. So whenever we discuss about um, education, it is also important to remember these kind of schools, schools which are really struggling even to continue. Uh, 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 so the, the standard will definitely contribute uh, in bringing a platform for us 
to 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 aspire to aspire uh, and to indicate the direction of 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 the school but uh, having standard will not be enough there should be coordination coordination among school uh, school not only for, uh, uh, the catholic schools but also you know collaboration with other faith based schools uh, there should be uh, uh, clarity here in ethiopia um, uh, to, to we, we need to clearly define uh, the, the issue of uh, secularism secularity whatsoever the term is it is really very important for us to define and to make a, a, a clarity because um, ethiopia uh, most most of us are you know, we belong to one or the other uh, religion or denomination. So in a country like Ethiopia, where we have many uh, religious people, uh, we cannot uh, isolate religion from school system. Uh, there should be a means uh, uh, to, talk, uh, to talk about religion. It's not about, you know, preaching. Uh, it should be about knowing about others. There cannot be tolerance uh, among the different uh, religious followers without having uh, knowledge, knowledge about the others. So we, need, we have the responsibility to teach our students uh, what do we mean by Catholic, what do we mean by Orthodox, what do we mean by Muslim, and so on and so forth. They have the right to know, they have the, the, and we have the duty to, to, to teach them. And then, and under this circumstance, uh, 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 we can really uh, talk about you know, the formation of students in a holistic manner, in a holistic manner. And I, I would say that this is, this is not only the demand of uh, the Catholic school, it is uh, the demand of many others. To, to give a moral education. That's why uh, St. Joseph is attracting many students from the different walk of life. Some are Catholics, some are Orthodox, some are Protestant, some are Muslims, some are even maybe non-believers. But they are attracting many students. And the core of the school is moral education. Moral education. Therefore, how do we give a moral education in Ethiopia? And this should come from us. We need to discuss with a responsible body about this issue and bring it into the center of attention. Because the way we see it, uh, quality is, is not in a good position in Ethiopia. And then we are also talking about you know, uh, ethics and the problem of the youth. But then without preparing them, how can we talk about you know, uh, their problem? <laughs> First, we need to assume our responsibility of the youth uh, and, and then preparing them uh, for the future. Uh, the challenge is uh, not easy. So, so we need to uh, 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 consider these uh, points on, on our uh, future discussion. Thank Could you. I comment? Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I want to affirm all the major points you made that the importance of educating for tolerance and, mm -hmm. and understanding. I mean, um, it was heartbreaking to me working um, with Catholic educators in um, Bosnia, Herzegovina, to see how um, for hundreds of years the Catholics, Orthodox, and Muslims provided a sectarian education. They only mm -hmm. focused on their own community. Uh, and not an understanding of the others. And so then it, it, it shouldn't have been a surprise to anybody that when people from different communities interacted with one another, they, they had no basis to interact fruitfully and ended up turning to violence. Um, f to educate for um, a global, educate in mm -hmm. a global community today, we need to be educating about um, all the religions and the belief systems, uh, ways of looking at the world that are part, 
that are found in our community, but then also throughout the world. That needs to be central, I think. Yeah. And then you, you also mentioned the importance of, of collaboration um, and bringing in the, you know, some of the like, schools on all different ends of the mm -hmm. spectrum um, that, uh, that, like, schools from different socioeconomic groups mm -hmm. um, all have some, something important to share and understand. I saw that at Bishop McCourt when I was working with them. The students came from all different backgrounds and all different socioeconomic groups and um, the tremendous learning that came about by bringing, by having them reflect upon their context and, and share with one another. And I could see the same thing happen if you have Catholic educators from different contexts coming mm -hmm. together. It would be a wonderful learning opportunity. And one thing we didn't mention that you mentioned was the importance of evaluation. Um, ongoing evaluation needs to be part of any educational program. Um, in order to learn from the experiences we have as educators, we need to take time to periodically reflect upon them. And that, that's one of the things Diocesan Education Days can do, is provide those forms for reflection. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, if we don't reflect on what we do, we can be de keep doing the same things again and again without understanding what the real strengths and limitations are of what we're doing. Thank you for uh, this uh, valuable uh, comments and suggestions for uh, uh, the future to improve our service. Um, my last question would be maybe I should have raised it uh, earlier. Uh, these four dimensions were discussed uh, and then from the four dimensions uh, which uh, were mentioned as a Catholic uh, education principles is uh, belonging and becoming. And this, uh, you mentioned it also as uh, in the identity formation, they are very important, even for the Catholic identity for the schools. And to, uh, to give also a better service, integrated service, holistic education, uh, the Catholic identity uh, formation is very important in the schools, uh, but also for uh, uh, those institutions giving the service should be their identity should be formed properly so that from that basis they can give further holistic education. When it comes to our own context, uh, some of our faithful or our Catholics are asking us, you know, we are not forming our Catholic members. And the Catholic schools, of course, are uh, open for all uh, religious uh, people from all religious background, from Christians and Orthodox, uh, Protestants and Pentecostals and Muslims from the other religions, but also non-believers. So f some say that more than 90% or 95% of the Catholic population, sc school population, uh, uh, are non-Catholics. So uh, when we come to uh, the issue which was raised that uh, we don't find uh, people who can't teach in the Catholic uh, schools, a moral education or a religious education, we don't have. At the same time, we don't form them also, our faithful, in the Catholic schools. So belonging and becoming uh, starts when you form also your own faithful so that you can have tomorrow with a Catholic identity people to teach in the Catholic schools with a holistic way. So this is something which uh, was also raised during the workshop, but we know it also uh, in the past uh, uh, synod, for example, in the Archdiocesan Synod, which was conducted to uh, do self-examination. Uh, when we had 12 topics, one was Catholic education, and people were asking us, you know, our children are not well accepted uh, in the Catholic schools uh, because of their uh, different reasons. Let me just mm -hmm. stop it there. But uh, that is something which uh, requires also attention. When it comes to belonging and becoming and forming a Catholic identity of a Catholic schools, it starts uh, by forming the, the Catholic children as well. I think I would like to also to hear from you from other countries, like you mentioned in the US, mostly 
people are from maybe from Catholic background, I mean teachers and so, but in other countries maybe also other people are also involved. So in our context, those who are teaching, those who are participating and taking also the service of the, the Catholic schools are uh, non-Catholics. This is also another uh, phenomena here in our context. So I think I wanted to raise this uh, mm -hmm. as well. Well, well two, two general comments. Uh, um, in educating for Catholic identity, I think what we need to strive for is to educate for a solid but not a static understanding of identity. Uh, Catholic identity is a, something that's been defined and that's there and we just pass it on. Um, but it's something that's continually evolving. The faith has to be enculturated in each context and as each society grows and changes, um, so does the way we understand and live out our faith. But, but, but at the same time, it, it, we can have a, a solid sense of identity in the sense that it's rooted in an understanding of um, the core beliefs, values, traditions, and teachings of the Catholic Church. So solid, but not static. Um, and and it's when, um, when Catholic identity becomes static, that's when um, I think we run into trouble when I see that static senses of Catholic identity were like, there were static senses of Catholic identity uh, nurtured in um, the Balkans, and one of the things that contributed to the uh, wars there is that they uh, were not able to really look at how Catholic identity needed to continue to develop in the context in which it was in. We're continuing to pass on a static sense of identity and not looking at how that static sense of identity contributed to the re ethno-religious conflict in the region. Um, so that's solid but not static sense of Catholic identity. The other is that Catholic identity as both particular and universal. A Catholic means universal. So you know. So on the one hand, it's Catholic identity in that it's solidly rooted in Catholic traditions, practices, and the teachings of the Church. And so that at any time, any socio-moral issue is raised, there's something solid we begin with. There's established traditions and teachings to address that, and that should always be the first, um, first where we begin. So it's, it's, that's the, these are the particular beliefs of the Catholic community, we present them as where we're, we're starting. But we also present the, the, uh, the wisdom of Catholic tradition that's something that has a universal application. Um, in terms of moral education, um, Catholicism illuminates what's truly human. Um, it illuminates the um, human, human values that are um, uh, universal for all people. Um, and, and so it's, it's, it's continually balancing that, um, that um, as, as, as Catholic identity continues to evolve, how do we continue to balance that um, commitment to our particular tradition, um, but understanding the universal values that are at play in there as well. And um, to focus just on the particulars when you could become static, if you focus just on the universal, you use that, that sense of the distinctive rootedness in a particular tradition. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. This is also uh, uh, important in the sense uh, uh, that uh, uh, the Catholic Church, as her identity, she uh, sees herself to uh, be open for all. This is also part of the identity yeah. of the Catholic Church. Uh, and uh, with that identity, the Catholic Church formed in this country influential leaders of the, this country. So that is also part of her identity. And then she wants to continue in this way as well. Um, that is one aspect of uh, you know, the identity of the Catholic Church. Of course, when you go to a uh, government school or, or uh, and, uh, different uh, um, civil society leaders are formed in the Catholic Church and the Catholic schools. They are very grateful for that. Uh, they, uh, they appreciate the Catholic Church. 
of uh, her neutrality. They form, they see that uh, the human dignity, the, human, the respect, uh, and uh, uh, a human person is not valued because he comes from that family or this family or that ethnic group or this ethnic group or from that religious uh, background, open for all. So they appreciate this uh, you know, approach of the Catholic Church in serving humanity. So this is also part of the identity. The other point is, and how uh, can we strengthen even this service to the society by forming our own Catholic people so that we can be stronger uh, in this country, so that we can have uh, many uh, uh, educators uh, forming themselves in this Catholic identity, serving also to, to others. That is also the point. So the two are very important. I mean, both are important, I mean. Educating our own Catholic uh, faithful or our Catholic uh, uh, members can help us enhance also that uh, the service we give uh, in the context of universality, uh, being open to all. Um, so I think St. Joseph, for example, uh, gives, uh, uh, I know, scholarships uh, to uh, those uh, students uh, yeah. uh, from the Catholic uh, families, but also for, from uh, other families uh, who, who cannot uh, okay. provide, pay, or give uh, the contribution which uh, the, the school uh, uh, requires. Um, so that is also... Another aspect, I mean, we don't mean that the Catholic schools are not doing uh, something about it, mm -hmm. uh, but we, don't, we want to do it more. We want to include, open our, our schools for the members of the Catholic uh, community as well. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Abba. I think this is a very uh, hot issue. Uh, we have to train our own members. Where in our own schools, yes. Uh, I know about my own school, what we do. Uh, those Catholic families who bring their children at the right time, according to the schedule, none of them went back, mm -hmm. as to my knowledge. Uh, even if they uh, do not do well in the entrance, we give them another chance. Is this the same in another school? I doubt. Because I have an experience of my own friend who went to one of the uh, Catholic schools, which I don't want to mention now. Uh, he was told that this school is open for all, not only for Catholics, which is true. But at the same time, as a Catholic, I have to have priority uh, to get my kid into that school. And what did my friend do? He went away, he left the church, just because of that incident. So I think we have to be careful and a kind of direct directives should be uh, you know, given to each of Catholic schools. They have to take or give priority to Catholics. Uh, not only in the area of uh, students, but also in hiring qualified people. If someone is qualified and if he, if he is Catholic, if he's competent enough, I think he has to get the priority to be hired into Catholic schools. So in such a way we can, you know, uh, bring our people well, instead of you not know, telling them to go away, it's better to collect them, to embrace them, yes. and then educate them. So uh, this is very important, and more discussions and more uh, things should be done to change this uh, issue because each school has its own entity, you know, they decide for themselves. Mm. Now, there is no a common guideline that makes them to do things, do this. Okay? 
So uh, as as in nation in the national level, uh, if if you can up, if, if you can come uh, come up with guideline in accepting Catholic families into Catholic schools. Thank you. Thank you for the input. I, I, I wonder if that's an area the Archdiocesan Education Desk could help with. Because I, I know working with schools that, that sometimes schools are dealing with some very tight constraints. So that they have, you know, they might have uh, students in the school who aren't Catholic. Um, they've already committed to take them in. A Catholic family comes and, and they just can't take them. Um, but uh, rather than just turn them away, if they could turn to the archdiocesan desk and say, can you help us here? Or, or school's hiring and they have uh, uh, somebody that has a non-Catholic who has an expertise in an area they have um, who is perhaps a better candidate than a Catholic. Someone who, who, you know, they might have another candidate who's Catholic but who, who doesn't quite have the background in the area of expertise. Um, should they take the Catholic person? Well, no. To provide the best quality of education, they should probably take the best candidate. But knowing that there's this, this Catholic candidate that has distinct strengths and skills, they can turn to the archdiocesan desk and say, hey, we've got this great Catholic person who's looking for a job. Um, what can you help us with? Where might you direct them? So there's an area that, that you know, this is another area where the diocesan desk might be able to help. Mm. You know? and, and I want to just say that like you, you say, open to all. That's what, um, in working with, in, in seeing how Catholic schools operate in Hong Kong, um, and I was there about four or five years ago, um, that's part of their, who they are. They're open to all. And, and in fact, most of the students they take in are not Catholic. But yet they're very clear that they have a distinct sense of Catholic identity. Um, that, and so when the, when the um, government officials come to them and, and say, can you do this uh, or do that, uh, sometimes they say yes, sometimes they say no. They say, no, we can't do that and maintain our sense of Catholic identity. Um, we're not willing to do that. We, that's, that would violate core principles of who we are. So it's open and yet firmly rooted in a sense of Catholic values. Mm -hmm. And, and that's what, you know, I think that um, there's may, perhaps maybe a similar, there's a parallel to what happened, could happen here, where um, we, you, schools, Catholic schools here need to have that openness to all, uh, given the minority status, but, and um, interacting with society and dealing specifically with the government education offices, office that, um, they have a clearly rooted sense of Catholic identity and this is what we can do that's in accord with our identity and then here's what we can't. In the conversations, we can generate conversations among the Catholic school teachers. Maybe we can come to a clearer sense. If we can come to a clearer sense of Catholic identity, you have a clearer sense of, of uh, what you need to do to stay firm to that and where you can uh, be more open. Thank you. Maybe maybe one point about uh, recruitment. Um, in my understanding is very fundamental for us to be open for all and uh, recruit the most capable uh, teacher into our schools. But then at the same time, uh, whoever we are recruiting should go through some sort of formation so that he or she can develop um, you know, Catholic identity. They should not be a Catholic, but they should adhere to the basic principles of um, Catholics. Catholic as a church. Uh, uh, otherwise, it will be a bit, there will be disparity. You know, the idea of moral education, we cannot be successful uh, uh, or incur the idea of morality only using a, a, a single subject, a physics teacher, a maths teacher, uh, English teacher should also be a role model, a model and who, someone who can live the basic principles that we are teaching uh, in a moral education. They should reflect uh, in their day-to-day -day interaction with the student. For that to happen, 
we really have to um, give formation, um, professional development programs uh, tailored with a, a, a Catholic identity. That we, uh, uh, you know, we can uh, uh, help our students to to to, to live the life they, they deserve. Mm. Thank you. Uh, I think uh, we have covered most of uh, uh, the points uh, which uh, we wanted to discuss, uh, at least uh, in this setting. Uh, we know that uh, uh, from the points which were raised uh, in the course of our discussion, there are many homeworks uh, we are uh, taking as uh, Archdiocesan Education Desk, but also uh, as experts, um, uh, you uh, uh, members of the Catholic Church, but experts in education. Uh, and uh, the homework also is uh, for the Catholic school leaders, uh, educators. Uh, together we will uh, further enhance uh, this holistic uh, Catholic education in the uh, jurisdiction of the Archdiocese and uh, Catholic uh, uh, the Archdiocese of Addis Ababa. Uh, and then in that process, uh, this workshop uh, will give us uh, an input, uh, a kind of roadmap uh, to continue uh, to focus on, uh, on, on our service. And Professor Harold is also willing to accompany us in the coming uh, period as we uh, strive uh, to change uh, or to strengthen uh, and uh, to uh, uh, give uh, more priorities uh, to some of uh, the points which were raised and uh, we are very uh, grateful uh, to you uh, uh, as I said at the beginning uh, for coming uh, to hear from New York from uh, Fordham University uh, from your experience to share uh, your uh, uh, the input which uh, you have given us uh, but also now to to, to continue uh, our uh, uh, work together um, on uh, the common uh, goal, the, co the objective uh, to improve uh, the uh, Catholic school uh, service here in Ethiopia. And I thank uh, also uh, Dr. Efrem for your presence and for the uh, inputs uh, you gave us. And uh, also uh, in the coming period, we will work together to um, enhance the, uh, the, the different uh, activities we may plan. And uh, at Oyonas from St. Joseph Catholic School, uh, from the local context, uh, as um, the St. Joseph is also known for uh, uh, the quality education and for the Catholic identity, but for moral education and also for uh, uh, giving opportunities for the Catholic families, you know, to educate their children there. It's a good example, and we are very. Uh, grateful for your presence you. uh, and for the input uh, you gave us. Um, so we uh, have been uh, uh, together discussing uh, how we can improve uh, our service. And uh, now uh, we will conclude uh, in Amharic, I say, I will say a few words. Italia Astraet, Vitale, Bazi, Adisava, Savaka, Yalut Catholic Nupetoch, Aglutacho, Le Mahabra Savu, at Ankarandihon, and Dandum Kaftatoch, Kaluk of Tatochum Le Mumlat, Bagara Wit, Madrek, Padregno, Sepsavale, Yalfokdami, Tagintachu, Astraet. Satachual, and I am Gidih, Sabasavu Tetelayu, Astaito Chenizan, Bagara, Catholic Vita Christian, Buzu, Muran Alat, Na Nazimuran Demo, Yalan Button, Hunit Alamak Ayer, Akamal Lacho, Navita Christian Demo, Hinden, and Nasun Tatakma, Balamak of the Raja, Yeset Chuyalo, Timurtelai. And the Zoom Baliluch Mahabaravag Glutuchla is at the Chuyalo Nagel Glut, even letter La Mahabar Savu, Takam in Dion La Madregno, Tretachinna, in the Nula Madreg, Nantum Facadena Honachu, Bamika Tulut Kiliatum, 
ሰበካው ሊያመጣው ሊሰጠው የሚችለውን መመሪያ በመከተል ከካቶሊክ ትምህርቶች ጋራ በመሆን አማራሮች ጋራ ከገዳም ሐላፊዎች ጋራ የበላይ አለቆች ጋራ በመተባበር የተሻለ ነገር ለመስራት ነው እንግዲህ ጥረት ለማድረግ ነው ይሄም ወርክሾፕ የተዘጋጀውና እና በተቻለ መጠን ይሄ ተቀበል ነው ያገኘ ነው የተወያየንባቸው ገንቢ ሐሳቦች ተግባራዊ ለማድረግ እንግዲህ በመናደርገውም ጥረት እናንተም እዚህ ያላችሁ እንደዚሁም ደግሞ ይሄን ፕሮግራም ለሚከታተሉ እንደዚሁም በተለያየ ሁኔታ ለአገልግሎት እንዲሰጡን ለምን ጠይቃቸው ሁሉ አረራ ለማለት ነው እና ተመልካቾቻችን በዛሬው ለት ቤተክርስቲያን በተልቆ ላይ በተሰኘው ፕሮግራማችን የካቶሊክ ቤተክርስቲያን የምታስተራድራቸው የተለያዩ በርካታ ትምህርት ቤቶች በዚህ በሰበካ በአዲስ አበባም እንደዚሁም በአገር አቀፍ ደረጃ እንዳሉ እናውቃለን እና በዚህ በአዲስ አበባ ካቶሊካዊ ሰበካ በ ማህበራዊ ለማት ጽፈት ቤት በትምርት ዴስክ ጋራ በመተባበር የተዘጋጀ አንድ ወርክሾፕ ነበር እና ያንን ወርክሾፕ ላይ የተነሱትን የተለያዩ አስተያየቶችን ይዘን በጋራ እዚህ ውይይት አድርገናል እና ከዚህ ውይይት በመነሳት ወረፊት እንግዲህ ከመመለከታቸው አካላት ጋራ ሆነን በካቶሊክ ትምህርት ቤቶች የሚሰጡትን አገልግሎቶች ሁሉ የተጠናከረ እና አገልግሎታችንም ደግሞ ለማስፋፋት የተለያዩ ጥረቶች የተደረጉ ነው እና በዚሁ በሰበካ እና በማጠናከር ረገድም ይሁን በማስፋፋት ደረጃ ያሉትን በጋራ ሆነን እንሰራለን በእያስባለሁኝ እና በዚህ ፕሮግራም ደስተኛ እንደነበራችሁ ተስፋ በማድረግ እግዚአብሔር አምላክ በተለያዩ የቤተክርስቲያናችን ሐዋርያዊ ማህበራዊ አገልግሎቶች እየተሰጡ ነው እነዚህንም አገልግሎቶች እንግዲህ ለቤተክርስቲያን ተልቆ ማሳካት እንዲሆኑልን እና የሰከተው እንግል አገልግሎታችንም እግዚአብሔር እንዲባርክልን ምኞቴን በመግለጽ በዚህ ፕሮግራም ላይ የተገኙትንም እንግዶቻችን በእናንተ በተመልካቾችስም ያመሰግንኩ እንግዲህ እግዚአብሔር አምላክ አገልግሎታችንን እንዲባርክላለሁ ጤና አስጥልኝ እግዚአብሔር አስጥልኝ Thank mm-hmm. you.